Just hit my finger on my closet. Hello everyone, and yes, we are going to be doing more back to school stuff, so this might get a little depressing for you. No, I'm scared. <laughs> At least we're gonna go back in style. Just a little bit, just a little bit. So today I plan on decorating the notebooks I got because I have a lot of new notebooks and they're all blank and I don't like it and I'm in a lot of new fandoms and I want to decorate them. And before you click off, I'm gonna do some stuff that has nothing to do with fandoms. Like, you know, if you're into that Tumblr aesthetic, pretty just collages, not all fandom stuff. I just hate having plain stuff, as you can tell from my backpacks. And look, since we're gonna be doing some crafting today, we're rocking the second angle right here. Hello. <laughs> That's probably horrifying to all of you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't record with my phone camera because, you know, there's not really too much space in there. I have a lot to do and a lot of it could go wrong because I only, you know, practice some of the stuff. At a time, it's Sunday and I prefer to upload every Monday and I gotta keep up with the schedule. I have a ghost face right now because of the lighting, I know. And check out my apron. Three pockets. Wanting an apron for a long time. Wanting it from Olvera Street in downtown Los Angeles. My mom always says I says I say that wrong. Cause I can't speak as you just saw. Love it. It's Dia de los Muertos theme. I also probably said that wrong. Look, I'm Hispanic, okay? I just wasn't raised in a very Hispanic way. I don't know Spanish really a little bit. But I have this pretty apron. I'm ready. Start off simple. So for this first one. All you have to do is print out a little Baymax face. Of course, you don't have to do that if you have a plain white notebook and you could just draw it, honestly. Even my mom was mad saying I was wasting ink. But I just wanted it to come out really perfect and so I just printed it out. But of course, you don't have to do that. So I'm going to cut off right here so I can have some room for the circles and then yeah, I want it to be more on top, so I'm probably going to have to layer more white paper under it. it's done since it is paper i do want it to be protected a little bit more and so i'm going to cover it in some packing tape i usually don't like it when i see people do this because it gives it this weird glossy look but i really want it to be protected and it is paper and i don't want to get messed up so we're gonna have to do that too done see now it's all protected you can spill water on it i mean it shouldn't get in it's like tape usually to make things weatherproof you make it you know covered in duct tape or tape so yeah it should last a little bit and i did it on a black notebook because i liked how it looked with the black border here and to match his eyes here i just thought i went with it more i just love big hero 6 and baymax it's the cutest thing ever and you probably noticed with that huge Baymax stuffed animal that's in the background all the time. The second one is going to get a little bit harder because we're going to get more creative with that. This one, I plan on kind of doodling or graffitiing it. <laughs> um, I know this is probably hard for a lot of people because, you know, not a lot of people know how to doodle or like draw cute things. But really, you can just look up a reference on Google and it doesn't all have to be made straight from the mind. I'm going to sketch it out first on some paper and then try my best to on the notebook. And I chose to do it on a yellow notebook so you can see it better because I'm going to use a sharpie. If I did this on a darker color notebook, you probably wouldn't be able to see it. Also, I would leave space in the middle so you can write the subject that's going to be for. I don't know what subject this is going to be for. This middle space blank for when I do start school. And that way you can just kind of graffiti style write the subject of whatever class you were going to use the notebook for.
done. I mean, I tried to color switch to the with Sharpies, but it's also kind of hard since, like, when you cover Sharpie with Sharpie, it starts to smudge and fade away. But, I mean, I like it. It looks silly and goofy and cute. And on the side, I've noticed that this little binding part is coming off. And so, in a further step to decorate it, I want to put duct tape on the side. Kind of like how I did right here, but with glitter duct tape. So, I'm going to do it with this duct tape because it has more of a graffiti style and would fit in more. If you already put something there for your subject, then I suggest putting tape on top of your notebook just like with the Bay Max one to protect the Sharpie from smudging off. But because I'm not done with it yet, I'm going to just put some hairspray on it and so it could stay. This next notebook decoration DIY or whatever you would like to call it is kind of a little bit unfair if you don't have a colored printer. If you have a colored, you know, printer, maybe just try drawing what you want. I mean, tracing on top of your laptop screen lately, try finding stickers, or try cutting out magazine parts. Literally anything can work for a collage, because that is what I plan on doing for this notebook. A few other ones. An example of a collage work that I did is for Panic at the Disco, because I'm trash like that. And about it though is that you can literally find anything and it can just fit in the collage, because a collage is just made of anything. I mean, it should have a kind of central theme, as you I'm also gonna show you kind of how I got this tag from a keychain. I got a Hot Topic and I'm just somewhere on here. All this now going to be using will be kind of flower related stuff because that's going to be the theme for this notebook. But I do plan on doing other collages with other notebooks that will probably have different themes as we go along. So I planned on doing this whole big collage for this notebook with like a bunch of like flowers that I cut out and printed, but like I like how it looks without it, like with just this like one like cute corner border. I like it like this and I think I'm just gonna grab my green notebook and continue the rest of the collage with the rest of the flowers and this one I'm just going to have to unfortunately put tape over it to protect it. And as much as I don't want to, because I kind of really like how it looks now without the gloss. that other notebooks crazy and like there's a lot going on <laughs> I just really didn't want to waste all the flower pictures I printed because that was a lot of ink and so much so that I even like put some on the back out of my other like tape and they had to use my dad's big old packing tape hard to go I mean I kind of like it I love flowers so much I love nature. I love flowers especially. I think they're more precious than like babies. A couple more to do and for this one, I like this one. It's really really simple. So all I did was print out a picture of, you know, ocean waves, you know, from the top view. Make sure it's the top view because what we're gonna do is cut off the sand part so it looks like the water's, you know, coming onto your notebook. And it didn't record me doing it because it's like how I said, just cut off the sand, tape it down. So it looks like the waves are on the notebook. I do admit though how the side looks very bad because you know I wanted to leave room for the holes just in case I wanted to put the notebook anywhere so it's not completely straight so hopefully hopefully if you have like a straight cutter or anything please use that so it comes out nicer but I was left over with this little piece of the water and I like it because I can just use it as a bookmark sorry if you're getting bored with this but don't worry I only have one more and honestly you can skip this one because this one's fandom related I honestly had way more ideas and stuff for collages for way more notebooks, but I ran out of notebooks to do. Supernatural related, because I'm trash like that. 
I really love this scene in Supernatural where they're just looking up at the stars because the stars looked really, really pretty. But the problem was that every time I tried to print it, it would just look like nothing. You can't even see it in the camera. So I had to go back and edit it and just put a lot of contrast so you can see it better. And eventually this was like the best one. And But you could only see like the backs of them, which I thought was really cute. But then at the same time, like... I want it to be vertical because it's a notebook. So I found this edit online, credit to whoever did that. I just Googled this scene. And so I'm going to use that for the notebook, but you can't really see the stars on here either. So I plan on like cutting out the stars from the other pictures that I did. And so technically it's kind of a collage too, but it's just for making up one scene. So I'm gonna try and cut out Sam and Dean and try and put the stars in the background. This was probably one of the most simpler ones, even compared to that Big Max one. I'm surprised how well everything blended together, even though this is like three pictures in one. And I think it looks really nice, honestly. The only I also got another bookmark. Look at that. It's just Sam though, and it's with the stars. This is the last of the notebooks or weirder projects, I guess is a little bit more random and I don't know if you could really associate it with back to school but I might as well put it in here so I got one of those you know um, like mirrors that open up and uh, it had this originally as a cover but it uh, came off so what I was thinking is that I can just kind of put my own twist on it because you know those hot topic ones that they have with the fandoms and I've always wanted one and they like pop out and they look nice, but they're expensive and I already have this one, so might as well make my own. I mean, I got it for really cheap and so I just printed out the anti-possession symbol from Supernatural and I'm going to stick it on here, although it came in a lot smaller than I wanted it to, so what I'm thinking is that I cut it as close as I can and then cut out a white spot to put it on top and so it could fill out the rest of the space. together if you saw there at the end i put some of that mod podge you know gloss so you know try to make it look nicer so you kind of see the brush strokes so matter of opinion i guess we have one more diy to do which was uh i was trying to get wire and you know making you know the anti-possession symbol so i could have a necklace it's not really working out this whole video i'm just trying to save money by not going to hot topic and it's just not working out either way they're gonna end up with my money <laughs> and i had all these other stuff ready for more diy stuff but alas i ran out of notebooks um, in the blank space that i left i decided to put these stickers that i found at the dollar tree and they have like water inside and sprinkle them so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm also talking kind of quietly because it is 1.30 in the morning right now. And everyone's asleep. And I'm sweating vigorously. <laughs> and I did this entire video completely last minute because I've been gathering the supplies and planning it for a long time because I've been wanting to do this video for a long time because I have all these supplies and it's like decorating and back to school and I don't know, I'm tired and I'm rambling. Um, I'm sorry if this video is boring and if you're sick of all the DIYs because trust me, the next couple of videos are not going to be anything like this one. 
it's gonna be some stuff that I did over the summer, so they might be kind of vlogger-ish. Hopefully you guys will like it. If not, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> but uh, no, just like hold on and you know, sit tight. I have other stuff coming and my hair looks psychotic because of how much I've been sweating. Even though it's 1.30 in the morning. <laughs> and now I have to stay up all night to edit this video. Thank you again so much for watching. Everything else, but okay, bye.